Welcome to NoBS Game Guides. Today we're gonna have a look at some of the best settings you can adjust in Smite 1 that will help you sharpen your skills before Smite 2 release. Number 1 is the Restricted Camera Pitch. This option is under the controls category, we need to set this off in order to be able to see the sky. A side effect for this option though is that now your camera doesn't lock when you just want to cast your spell at max range and you don't want to lose vision on the enemy. I'll try to show you an example right here. This is a locked camera. And this is unlocked camera. We stay in the controls category for the next option as well, the cast mode. If you are a veteran MOBA player, you know that you need to cast your spells instant without any delay. Well, that's generally true for every other MOBA, but not in Smite. Most of the spells are better to cast with an indicator that will help you aim. So, we set the default on quick casting and we can change manually any spell we want to have on instacast in game. To do so, press K or just go from the menu to abilities and set whichever ability you want into instant cast. This option will be saved for each code separately, so you just have to do it once. The difference between quick cast and instant cast is that quick cast gives you an indicator when you press the spell and cast it when you release the button and instant cast cast the spell at once on your target location. Moving now to target category, we will start with distance line. We want to set distance line on ruler. This can mostly help you with auto attacks since now you can see the range. Next we enable bracket highlighting. This will help you understand which target you are about to hit. Reticule again can help you with auto attacks. This one I'll leave it up to you if you want either an X, a cycle or nothing. You can choose the best for you. Ground target option, you should set this on arrow. What this option does is adding both a high contrast and an arrow on the target indicator and will mostly help you land your spells when you are using instant cast mode. Second to last we will tweak user interface a little bit. I will link a picture in the description with the settings or you can just freeze the video and copy them. Let's now see really fast what each option does. So your health we will set this off because we like to see as much screen as possible. Ward ping enable on will ping our map every time an enemy pass through a warded area, we like this very much. So jungle markers will add some signs to help you understand the map better, we like this one too. For nameplate I like to set this on god's name. If you are new at the game this will help you learn the god names. So mana usage adds the UI the mana cost for every spell, very important. And combat text scaling, we set this on 1 to free space from our screen. Our last option as far as I know is only available for PC and it's about the HUD general display. We will set this on the updated version and now we can adjust our ugly default UI in any way we like. To do so we will join a game against bot or just go into jungle practice, press escape and then edit UI. Since this is too personal for each one of us, all I can do is share some UI ideas with you. I will also share some pictures in the description. Pretty much what we can edit in our UI is the location of every element, the size and the opacity. One last quick extra necessity is to set an auto run button in the key bindings. And that's pretty much it for today's video, as I've said Smite 2 is about to release soon and no BS game guys have their eyes on it. So leave a like and subscribe for future Smite content and see you on the next video.